We live in a multiracial and multicultural society. Our diversity has become a strength as we work together to improve our lives. It is not an easy task. It requires understanding of our different ethnic backgrounds. Singapore's multiculturalism is based on respecting differences, regardless of race, language or religion. How can we further strengthen this multicultural character? Singapore consists of many different races, many different cultural backgrounds. We all need to understand integration, understand tolerance for different cultures. Now, no kampong but got gamjing. This very nice coexisting, tight-knit unspoken bond. Everybody will help one another. HDBs are awesome because the diversity is there. Nowhere else in the world will you see this. We must be curious about diversity, turn diversity into something which is positive for the future of Singapore. Singapore is a very open society, exposed to external influences. At times, unfortunately, extremist influences. 9-11, that was a turning point for me as a Muslim. I have friends from all different races question, what is jihad? Should I be afraid of you? We're talking about jihad to better ourselves. Islam teaches peace. Each religion teaches peace. So whatever is happening in the Middle East, it does not represent Islam. Ultimately, it's about educating the population on what is right and what is wrong. It's a responsibility not just of the government or the state, but of all of us. In dealing with extremism, there is a clear line of what we think is harmful and we will never allow it. We all know that the Malay Muslim community is undergoing certain challenges. These are just some people out there with extreme views. You therefore need the Chinese community to come and say, hey brother, we are cool with you because we trust you, you are part of Singapore. Racial conflict has led Sri Lanka to look to Singapore as to how they can rebuild. And it's sad because it's a waste of economic, social value. Singapore has racial tolerance. It is open to diversity. It's not our buildings, it's not our port, it's not our airport. Racial harmony is our best legacy of the last 50 years. How important is community relations in helping someone to succeed? I look at the Chinese boy that dropped out from school. For him to get into a workshop in Bukit Merah is very easy. You can speak Teochew, Cantonese, Hokkien, you go in, you pick up the skill, you become a mechanic. For the Malay boys, they have difficulty because the informal network is actually very limited. For the Malay community, I've always believed the best solution is to stay in school. If there is a burning desire, fight for it. You need a level of tenacity. You need a level of discipline. You need a level of confidence, too, to really fight. Prejudice still exists in certain quarters. And so you really need to continue to work at this because multiracialism is never done. It's a work in progress. We have something good going, but we cannot pretend that it will last. We have to work at it because there are forces trying to pull us apart. As we chart the next chapter of Singapore's future, we must not let differences divide us, but to strengthen our social fabric. And this requires greater understanding, interaction, tolerance and respect.